Now, here is a grouped frequency table. We've got 80 bits of data between 10 and 20, so 11, 12, 13, 14.27, all those would go into that group. We've got 30 between 20 and 30, 20 between 30 and 40, and 5 between 40 and 50. Now, what that means is that we don't have the original data. So there was at some point some original data which we then put into these groups. But we don't know what those original numbers were. So in this process we've lost some information. And now we might want to be able to work out the mean. But because we don't have the original data um, the mean that we find will only ever be an estimate. So what we can calculate is an estimated mean, not the actual mean. Because we just don't know what the original numbers were. If all of these numbers had been uh, between 19 and 19.5, for example, so they'd all been in the upper part of the group, then that would obviously give me a slightly different mean. But we can't assume that. And what we are going to use is an estimate for the group uh, number by taking the midpoint of each group. It seems reasonable that if I take this to be 15, halfway between 20, 10 and 20, there's likely have been some that were lower than 15, and some that were over 15, and hopefully they would cancel each other out. So I'm going to use the midpoint as an estimate. <coughs> so I've got 10 to 20 is 15, 20 to 30 would be midway would be 25, then 35, and then 45. So these are my midway estimates. So let's say now that I've got 80 15s, effectively. I've got 80 of these 15s in my list. So I would multiply these two together. So I'm going to get a frequency times midpoint column. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So we do 80 times 15, okay, so 1,200. Then we've got 30 times 25 is 750. Then we've got 20 times 35, that's 700. And then 5 lots of 45, which is 225. So I don't believe myself sometimes. There we are. Okay. Right. So I've got my estimates. I've added them all up. So that I know I've got, 50, I've got 80 15s, 30 25s, 20 35s, and 5 45s. And then I'm going to add that column together, okay? So I can say that an estimate of what they would all these numbers add up to would be 2,875. So this is really an estimated sum, an estimated total. I definitely know how many numbers I had. Okay, and I'm going to need to add that up. So I've got 80 plus 30 plus 20 plus 5 is 135. So there are 135 bits of data, and my estimate for what they added up to was 2875. So we take what they added up to, we divide by how many there were. 2875 divided by 135 is 21. Point two nine, so about twenty one point three to one decimal place. Now, does that make sense? Looking at our original data, you can see that the majority of the data is between ten and twenty. So we would assume that the data is around about this region between the eighteen thirty, so between ten and thirty. Um, it makes sense that it's it's within this group because we do have this tail end. 
um, this 30, 20 and 5. And that is over another 40 away from the 80. So this seems like a reasonable estimate. And that is how you work out the estimated mean from a grouped frequency table. And the reason why it was an estimate, because we didn't know the original set of data.